And this is the Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Circus. Yeah! Mick Jagger is a well-known name in global music, and as a songwriter and singer for the Rolling Stones since the 1960s, Mick and his partners rocked the music industry decade after decade. Despite his age, he has continued performing and still does shows to this day. His partnership with Keith Richards in songwriting has resulted in some of the most admirable creations in music history. Obviously, as a well-known rock band performer and founding member of the Rolling Stones, Mick has amassed a large reputation and fortune. According to various sources, Mick has a net worth of more than $520 million. With a fortune of that magnitude, it would appear that Mick Jagger can, in fact, always get what he wants. And over the years, he has certainly invested some of his fortune in some flashy cars and motorcycles. Today, we're taking a look at the car and bike collection of the one and only Mick Jagger. Let's begin. Aston Martin DB6. The year, 1966. A glorious year for the music industry as well as the automobile industry. While Mick Jagger's band was winning over hearts with their tunes, Aston Martin was at the top of its game as well, thanks to the launch of the DB6. The AM DB6 is a classic in more than one way. Evidently, an upgrade to the DB4 and DB5, the new model was announced at the London Motor Show in October 1965. The AM Classic was built with several notable style changes. It was built with the cam tail rear spoiler to enhance high-speed stability in tandem with the split front and rear bumpers. The DB6 boasted a higher roof line of 136 centimeters and a considerably longer wheelbase compared to its predecessor. The increase of space in the rear made the DB6 a more practical family car, while also being highly fashionable. With a top speed of 148 miles per hour, this classic Aston Martin went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6.1 seconds. The legendary singer purchased the DB6 in the summer of 1966. The purchase garnered plenty of attention and the DB6 was dubbed as Jagger's favourite car. But fate had other ideas as the Rolling Stones legend rammed the Aston Martin beast into a truck on the streets of London. 1964, Ford Galaxy 500 XL convertible, Mick Jagger's American muscle car. In 1978, it was purchased and imported to the UK by Mick Jagger. The 64 Galaxy was a rare right-hand drive model built in Canada. A bright blue American drop top would certainly attract attention at any time, in any place. And that's especially true in England in the late 1970s. Under the bonnet, Mick Jagger found a burly 390 cubic inch V8 engine. The Galaxy 500 model, designed for police applications, had beefier engine internals, special header style cast iron exhaust manifolds and an upgraded valve train, which added up to 330 horsepower and 427 pound feet of torque. The Rockstar connection is just a nice bonus on top of an already cool car. Next up is a Rolls-Royce Classic driven by Mick Jagger. The 1964 Silver Cloud 3 is a marvel from a bygone era. A classic example of the Rolls-Royce way of building the perfect car. Built between 1963 and 1966, the Silver Cloud 3 came equipped with a best-in-class 380 cubic inch V8 engine. The vintage bad boy is capable of producing 220 horsepower. The beauty was first unveiled to the public at the Paris Salon in the earlier part of October 1962 the car was naturally built as an upgrade to the Silver Cloud II. In the year 1964, Rolls-Royce installed a chrome badge reading Silver Cloud III in italic font on the right bottom side of the boot. This was done mostly for sample deliveries to the UK and Europe. A total of only 2,044 models of this classic Rolls-Royce were ever produced. 1969, Jaguar 4.2 XKE Custom Coupe. The Jaguar E-Type was introduced to the world on March 15, 1961 at the Geneva Motor Show. It turned heads, wowed the sports car community, impressed manufacturers and became one of the most loved and iconic cars ever built. So of course, Mick Jagger had to have one. This vintage Jaguar was the personal car of Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones when he recorded in various Los Angeles sound studios. The Jaguar was later given by Mick to a studio musician, who, in turn, 
sold it to actor Victor McCain in 1977. Since Victor McCain was a cast member of the Chips TV series of the 1970s, he drove it in numerous background scenes. Victor would later take Mick's advice and paint it black. He also later added new red leather seats. It featured a custom sunroof, a six-cylinder engine, air conditioning, a Jensen stereo sound system, and custom chrome wheels. And when last driven, had only 38,303 original miles. 1967, Austin Mini Cooper S. Back in 1967, when he was only 24 years old, Mick Jagger bought a Cooper S from Brian Epstein Automobiles in Hounslow, London. He would later send it over to Wooden Pickett for a full makeover. Mick Jagger had it painted black, of course. It also featured the usual wood and picket bells and whistles and came with a full Webasto roof, shadow light glass and chrome trim on its sides, not seen very often. More powerful than its predecessors, the Mini Cooper, dubbed the S, was developed and released in 1963, featuring a 1,071cc engine and larger disc brakes. And an even more powerful Cooper S version was also used by some British police departments as a plainclothes car. 4,030 Mini Cooper S's were produced and sold until the 1,071 model was deleted in August of 1964. 1969, Morgan Plus 8 Roadster. Mick Jagger liked simple, traditional British sports cars and had a love affair with the Morgan in 1969. Built by British car maker Morgan between 1968 and 2004, the Morgan Plus 8 acquired instant and enduring popularity and has been credited with saving the company and keeping the company famous during the 36 years of its manufacturing. Its throwback design, harking to the 1930s, was mated to a 3.5-litre Rover V8. The development of the Plus 8 was led by Maurice Owen, a race car engineer, as you might be able to tell from its styling. The Plus 8 prototype was based on a modified version, the chassis of the Plus 4, to which it added the Rover alloy block 215 cubic inch V8. Initially, Mick Jagger's girlfriend at the time, Marianne Faithful, was a regular in the passenger seat. Then she was replaced with Bianca Perez Mora Macias. The Morgan joined the couple in Saint Tropez for their star studded 1971 wedding. 1983, Ferrari 400i. Purchased new by Mick Jagger on March 14, 1983. The car was picked up from the factory directly in 1983 by the tour manager at the time, Alan Dunn, along with seven other Ferraris purchased for use by the band and its associates after the successful European tour supporting the album Tattoo You. Three 400 Ferraris were acquired for Mick Jagger, Bill Wyman and Keith Richards. Aside from its fascinating history, a Ferrari 400i remains the quintessential grand touring car with a properly potent V12 mounted in front, mated to a five-speed gearbox, a clean and beautifully apportioned Pininfarina design, and the convenience of 2 plus 2 seating. It's a car that looks as breathtaking on the motorway as it feels pulling through its gears. Only around 500 Ferrari 400i models were ever made. 1984, Ferrari 288 GTO. The Ferrari GTO is an exotic homologation of the Ferrari 308 GTB produced from 1984 until 1987 in Ferrari's Maranello factory. Designated GT for Gran Turismo and O for Omologata, or homologated in Italian. The 288 GTO started out as a modified version of the 308 to hold down costs and to build the car quickly. But little of the 308 was left when the 288 GTO was finished. Easily noticeable differences were the GTO's bulging fender flares, larger front and rear spoilers, large flag-style outside mirrors, and four driving lights at the far sides of the grille. The GTO's 2855cc V8 was mounted longitudinally. This was necessary to make room for the twin turbochargers and intercoolers. The GTO could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 5 seconds and Ferrari claimed a 0 to 125 mile per hour time of 15 seconds flat and a top speed of 189 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest street legal production cars of its time. Mick Jagger has also owned and driven several Mercedes over the years, including a 1990 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEL V126, an early 70s Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.3, 
and a 2013 Mercedes S550. And in later years, Mick Jagger included an oddball to his collection, compared to the majority of his sporty collection, a Range Rover Defender. And while it's not just exotic, sporty and stylish cars Mick Jagger fancies, he's also a fan of motorcycles. Mick Jagger has owned and driven the likes of a BMW F700 GS, a BMW R90 S, and a Honda CB350. Over time, Jagger has developed into the template for rock and roll frontmen, and with the help of the Stones, has changed the world of music through his contributions to it as a pioneer of the modern music industry. Mick Jagger is often described as one of the most popular and influential frontmen in the history of rock and roll. It's quite the task to keep up with all the vehicles Mick Jagger has driven, owned and added to his collection over the years. If you know of any vehicles Mick Jagger has owned that we may have missed, please leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.